Now, let's compare elements and compounds. Elements only have one type of atom, and each single atom has all the properties of that element. Compounds have more than one type of atom bonded together in a fixed ratio in every molecule, and each molecule of a compound possesses all the properties of that compound, like water molecules. Each water molecule will have all the properties of water. Each molecule of carbon dioxide will have all the properties of carbon dioxide. But if you break down the molecules of water or carbon dioxide, it will no longer have the properties of that compound. For example, all molecules of water have the chemical composition of H2O. And if we break down the molecule of water as an H2O into its elements, as in if we separate hydrogen and oxygen, these elements will not have properties of water. Hydrogen will have the properties of hydrogen, and oxygen will have the properties of the oxygen element, but they will no longer have the properties of the compound water. The same is true with the compound carbon dioxide. If we break down CO2 into carbon and oxygen, carbon will have the properties of the element carbon, and oxygen will have the properties of the element oxygen. And this molecule will not remain a molecule of carbon dioxide, and it will not have the properties of carbon dioxide. So, the smallest unit of matter is the atom, and the molecule may have the same or different atoms, and each molecule carries all the properties of that matter. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye bye